What's going on, everyone? Movie Game Guy here, back with KP, and we're doing day 15 of the Horror 2016, you know, well, 2016 Horror Challenge. And today's question is: Favorite black and white horror movie? Now, this could be any black and white horror movie. It could be even a modern day one, as long as it's black and white. But pretty much your favorite. And um, this one, obviously, it's not my favorite of all time because I can't really choose my all-time favorite black and white uh, horror movie. But I chose one that really sticks out to me and one I love. And mine is 1977's Eraserhead, directed by David Lynch. What's yours, KP? <sighs> Eraserhead. What's yours? Oh, oh, Your no, team? no. Let's see Eraserhead. I've got mine. His is Night of the Living Dead. Yeah. The original. I have the Romero. original. Original. This is not anything that you know you can't play around with. Raise your head. Not a living dead is more of a classic, but for basically I'll tell you about mine and then KP will tell you about his choice. Now seventy uh, seven when David Lynch directed this, this is a uh, directorial debut. Um, it basically it was an art film that had a lot to do with just uh. Uh, social commentary and the big thing that I liked about this movie is the surrealism the uh, weirdness of it and how it wasn't fully explained and that's the thing I think that Lynch is trying to prove in most of his work is that you know you gotta dig deeper into it than just like you know the surface you gotta watch these things at least seven eight times to even try to understand it properly and even then sometimes you don't but this is basically about this dude um, played by um, Jack Nance the main character right there and he uh, meets up with this uh, female and it, they end up I guess having a kid and the kid's deformed and she leaves him to go back to the parents because she can't deal with it so Jack Nance's character you know prepares to try to you know uh, deal with it himself and you know a lot of weird stuff happens you see this uh, chick in it she's like in the radiator at one point and she's singing in heaven everything is fine and it's just really creepy. The baby itself is weird, and the ending of it is definitely pretty wild. It's definitely, um, it helped influence, um, the film, uh, Combat Shock by, uh, his name is yeah, Buzz. It's Buzz. Hold on a second, people. No, I need that. It's Buzz. It's, he's got it. He's got it. Um... It's definitely influenced by a uh, buddy, uh, oh, Gio Viannazzo, and that's why I couldn't pronounce it, and kind of a shock, yeah, but we're talking about this one. It was uh, definitely influenced a lot of different stuff, definitely helped uh, put David Lynch on the, you know, the uh, point of uh, classic directors. Now, that was my choice for favorite black and white. I highly recommend this. Now, KP will tell you about... Ah, alright. Well, um, you know, like I was saying before, um, you know, I'm not, uh, huge, well, I, of course, I, I'm a movie kind of sort like, I love all movies, don't get me wrong, so, but I'm not, you know, like, uh, a huge Tom, movie buff, that's just what well, no, 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 horror films, like, this, this guy right here knows... Like his hand, come, you know, back and back and forth. Like um, he he uh, he knows all the ones that like. Uh, he's the one that introduced me to uh, what was it, trauma? Uh, trauma. Trauma. Excuse me. Like uh, and Arrow and you know Scream all these uh, all these uh, yeah scream throw things like studio. Studios. Yeah, like things that I, uh, you know, I've never really been introduced to because, you know, I'm more of one of those ones that's like, hey, you could talk to me about, like, um, if you ever seen S Some of All Fears, I could tell you, who, you know, uh, Morgan Freeman, you know, like, you know, like, just like, uh, like, I'm more of the uh, going to all. Movie theaters. The, yeah, all well, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Whereas he is more horror, but um, for this one, I uh, if you haven't seen this, you are an idiot. 
Yeah, you don't even know about movies, so even horror. Yeah, Night of the Living Dead. Um, the original. 68, George oh. Romero. How can you not see that? Like... And if you guys want my uh, full in-depth uh, look on this film, go back to my first season of Movie Review Monday, and I review it in one of those. If you want my uh, input yeah, on it. He's a lot better at this than I am, so... Um, it but, takes time. But, um, you know, the original, you know... Um, it's very thought-provoking, for sure. Yeah. It definitely uh, had a lot of controversy, because at the time, in 1967, when it was actually being filmed... Um, the uh, main actor, Dwayne Jones, uh, yeah, Dwayne Johnson. No, Dwayne Jones. Dwayne Johnson. No, that's, that's the rock. rock. Yeah, no, <laughs> Dwayne Jones, um, was the main lead in it, and he was, uh, an African-American, or uh, a black, uh, and, direct, uh, yeah. actor. And, uh, for the time, it was definitely, you know, it stuck out, because you never had, you know, a black actor as the main role, and, uh, the main character. And then, at the end, too, with all the, um, the Hicks... Whatever they uh, were in, whatever uh, state, you know, shot him, and that was another big thing because of racial racialism at the time. And Romero didn't even try to do that. Actually, it just you know came to be coincidentally, you know, and it just became a, a cult classic. Not only just for the zombies, but also for the content that was inside that underlined the whole story. Yeah, and again, that was uh, supposed to be my whole context on the whole thing right there but thank you sorry <laughs> I can but, you know, away. yeah well hey no he knows a lot more about it than i do so because like i said like uh you know i'm more of one of those like you know like yeah. you'll get to know as the videos go on you'll understand yeah um we're gonna but, have a lot of comparisons like you know let's say i'm gonna choose something from 85 he's gonna choose something from 2015 and we're gonna compare yeah and that's going to be a cool thing. We have a lot of different ideas for uh, future videos that are, are going to be fun. But let me see that fast. Oh, yeah, of course. No, now, like, this is probably the ultimate edition that you can get of it without the color restoration. This is the Elite Edition that came out in 1999. And it's full of special features. If you guys want to pause and look back, you can. I mean, obviously, it's got the insert that Stephen King also did some uh, liner notes in on the side. Don't let him trick you, because we're Classic actually going to watch this right after we're done with this. Actually, I'm going to make sure. No, we're going to actually watch Demon Knight, remember? Oh, Demon, yeah, yeah, Demon Knight. Oh, hey, cool. Look forward to a yeah. full commentary review on that after oh, this yeah. month. But I had to show that for Night of the Living Dead. That was my pick. Hey, even though he took most of it, but I apologize. like I said, I'm more of one of those guys that uh, likes to take uh, non-horror films. Like if you actually seen uh, wh who's who's that guy that uh, that you showed me uh, the other day? Um, it was like uh, yeah, where he has moods six one six. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, oh, everyone knows Moods, Moods Classic. Yeah, and he has all those ones where it's just like, he's like, yeah, he's a nine horror. Like, I'm I'm one of those people where it's just like, I'm a movie buff. Yeah, he's like, not really a horror guy, but... I I enjoy horror, don't get me wrong, but I'm, I'm all movies. Like, whereas compared to this guy right here, is all horror and he's he's showing me some he's so showing I mean, me I got some a whole shelf of non-horror but not nearly as much as probably mm. one day we'll take a view of his collection too oh. sometime oh. we will and one um, day one day we shall see it oh my god but uh god. thanks guys for watching and uh tune in tomorrow for another part obviously day 16 of the 2016 horror challenge he might be in it or he might not depending on you know if he wants to or not either way give a thumbs up if you like it leave a comment below let us know what you guys favorite black and white film is and definitely subscribe and tune in for more and if you guys want to see this guy's face just put kp rules down in the comments hey glad to see you we'll talk to you tomorrow